Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, more particularly the beta for the new patch which is 1.11 we're currently in a new area of the the, the map there's three new, uh, three new locations we are currently in Klugenfurt, I hope I said that right uh, I have been driving around and I went to Graz before looking for a job, couldn't find one. Ended up going to Krugenfurt and getting this job here for pressure tanks. But what we'll be just having a look, quick look at now is a couple of things like adjustments inside the cab. So, and as you can tell, I've also got the one of the, the new DLCs, the one that I particularly thought was quite nice. If you haven't seen this before, I'll do a a quick tour see how this one here is nice red Canadian maple but it actually when you spin around it sort of changes color so it goes darker and lighter I really did like that in the uh, the pack and if you haven't had a look at the DLCs that I've done uh, the the quick look the review on the DLCs then yeah have, have a check I'll put a link uh, I'll put a link up for you as well so you can uh, have a look at those as a US one and the Canadian one is two brand new ones so what we'll do is we'll quickly go inside the cab and over to here now this is my dummy account again I have been um, this one here I run all for everything through so betas and everything like that so I'm not going to run my real account at the moment because none of the add-ons seem to be working at this point in time that I have found all the ones that I use so the only problem with the betas, testing betas, is add-ons don't work. So rather than mess everything up, we'll run it through this profile. And I hope that's okay with these guys. So let's have a quick look. We have in the under cabin adjustments, we now have adjust seat. So here you can adjust the seat any which way you want. So look left, right, um, slide the seat either side. The head of the center there, you can shift up and down. The seat, you can shift up or down. And this one is one that I was begging for, <laughs> which is the seat forward and backwards. So now I can actually see the dash properly because the big problem I had is where I was sitting in relation to my monitor is I couldn't see the, the gauges properly. So I didn't know what was what. <laughs> that was a big deal for me. Um, another thing while we're in here, if we go down to Company Manager and we have a look at Garage Manager, we click on a garage and we can now not only upgrade, but we can sell, which is good. There, I did read that there was meant to be somewhere where you'd be able, I'd be able to make a different headquarters. I did try to make a new, a new headquarters, but I'll... I couldn't find out how to actually do that. So uh, I'm sure that that will come along very shortly. Okay, and uh, so there we go. We've got the adjustment seats. We've got three new places. Um, and they're meant to be fixing up the AI. So they're working on the AI at the moment. We, we were promised that as of patch 1.09. Didn't really work but let's see how it goes now since I've been driving around it's been a little bit better which is good um, and hopefully we won't have any crazy accidents like uh, I have in the past where AI have just pulled straight out or you get those annoying roadblocks where people are coming off the off ramp you have to sit under the bridge and they're going off you know waiting one after the other off the off ramp and that, that's so annoying um, as many of you probably have done, just go up the side ramp just to get around them and maybe try not to have an accident, which, you know, that sort of thing happens. So we have a job today to go from Klugenfurt, I hope that's said right, all the way over to Milano in Italy. So little small job but it goes along this nice little windy road here which I've never been along and I thought we might like to see because it goes through some new areas okay 
So let's get on the road. So first of all, there we go, got the handbrake off. I always start up the vehicle and then try to drive off with the handbrake on. So as you saw, we've got the uh, the Scania today, which is the one that I drive in the standard one. If I can't get any of the add-on trucks, then this is what I drive with. Or that or the DAF. But uh, I thought I'd try the Scania today and we'll chuck on the new skins, which I thought was... Man, I am hitting those gutters. That's twice now I've hit those gutters. Not very good. All right. Now we'll try not to have any accidents, unlike last time. I don't. If uh, you saw the last episode where I had Junior on board with me, that was a bad run. That one didn't seem to go very well at all. It was uh, just one problem after another with that that truck that we had. And we're going to go. That guy can wait. He's all good. I'm sure he won't mind. There we go. Around the roundabout. Nice and sweet. Now, another thing that I have noticed in this, and somebody is obviously listening to me, but there is... Um, New, the actual signs are much nicer now and I can actually see the signs properly. So you can tell where you have to go well before. There's like three signs saying where you actually have to go well before you, ha before you get there. Now I'll show you what we mean when we come up, up closer. Now the other thing is uh, that it's I'm very well one I'm very excited for this new uh, patch to come out as a, a lot of people are but you know a lot of the mods at the moment as per normal aren't actually working but you know that's to be expected because it's all sort of new another thing that you may have seen already is oh wait uh, we gotta stop um, is that there is a little speedo gauge down the side on the side there somebody's been listening to me again uh, if you've watched my other videos, you would have known that I always complain about not knowing what the speed limit is. And there's a little, if you see, there's a little red and white dot with the num the speed. So, at the moment, we're meant to be doing 31 miles per hour. So this way, we can actually avoid those nasty speed cameras, which I always get stuck on. Now it's gone up to 43. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm uh, not 100% sure, but I think it also changes. So if you're doing kilometers, it will also change and show up kilometers as well. Ah, oh, here we go. We got one of these nasty turns. Let's get into second. Start moving, because I tell you what, we won't get across. Whoops, there we go. Oh, I really got to invest in one of those. The IR devices or something like that to get to help me with my uh, looking around because I play this game so much, but I, I'm still have been and always been using the mouse and it's uh, it's very hard. Very hard. One thing that I did notice as well with the beta and something to be well aware of, it reset for me. It reset all my settings and I'm still trying to work them out. Um, all my brake, you know, the brake settings would change because it's, um, I generally don't have my brakes as too touchy in my steering. I don't like too touchy steering, but um, that was reset for me. I, I may just be me but it might be something to be wary of in the, in the future. I'm sure that from the beta testing that pe people will actually you know, make them aware that this has happened and I'm sure that they'll fix that up. 
But just so you know, it did happen to me. Now, look, this is one thing I wanted to look at because I love scenery. I love looking at the scenery and, you know, the photos. You know, as if you've watched my videos before, you'd know that I love to stop and take photos. Which, I'm going to find a real nice spot to take a photo on this journey because there's supposed to be some really nice scenery. And what I've seen in the actual photos there has been some very, very nice scenery for this, which uh, I'm just itching to see. Itching to see. Because I love taking photos and love the scenery. Now, here we go. Tunnel. We're meant to be doing 50 and we're doing 56. How nice. And I think I really need to slow down here. Got too much of a lead foot. So now, now even the the graphics looks very, very, very good. Even though, for example, my uh, graphics card is not a very high, not a very good graphics card, we still get um, some good quality graphics. Now you'll notice here, that here's the signs. This is what I'm talking about with the signs. See, there's, there was one back there, one there, and there's another one. Here we go, up here there's one sign saying XXX. It, you know you're going to hit a brick wall there. So we can't go that way yet. It's all either for future or, or just I haven't unlocked it or whatever it may be. Uh, but that's clear that XXX means you can't go that way. <laughs> so here we go. We're coming up to a sign here and it says that you need to, that if you're in this lane you can turn that way or that way. Don't ask me to read what else it said on there. <laughs> I didn't catch it in time. But uh, yeah, it gives you a, a good, a clear idea of what's coming up so you can be well aware. Because, uh, well, I mean, here in Australia, we're not probably not the greatest country for signage, but, you know, you at least get two signs saying, oh, you're coming up to this exit. You need to get ready, you know, or 500 metres or 1K away there is, uh, you know, this exit. So that's all that I was after. Just something like that would be better. But this is even better than what I was thinking. Because clearly we now know that we have to uh, turn off. And we don't get stuck like we did there. <laughs> oh, look at this nice scenery. Just going to go around the corner here. I reckon this is a photo. Just around this corner. Look at this. Nice. So nice. Try and get that town in there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> That's my graphics card playing up. <laughs> Because I've been playing this all morning, you're going to see little, uh, little, I think it's artifacts you call. Look at that beautiful lake. Let's stop and have a look at that, shall we? Oh, wow. That was, that looked nice. And as per always, I will be putting the uh, photos on Facebook and Twitter. So if you have joined up on Facebook and Twitter, you'll be able to see these photos. And I don't even mind either if you grab a copy of them. That's that's all good. Look at that. Load of pressure tanks, anyone? Feel the view. Ah, oh. doesn't that look beautiful? Let's get that focus. Put it all. Wow! Look at that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What else we got? Oh, just duck down here. Take a photo along here for the YouTube video. It's always good to have. There we go. And I'm sorry if that annoys you people, me taking photos, but... I can't help it. I'm sorry. You know, if you can forgive me for just taking photos here and there, then that'd be really appreciated. So 
So, what do we have? There's a car on the side of the road. Strange. Italian flag by the looks of it back there? Possibly? Don't know. Um, not too not too up to date with my flags, unfortunately. So we're meant to be doing 43, we're doing 45, so we'll get pinned. 43. Mm -hmm. Hey, fellow truckers! Whoops, we're going off the road. See, look at that down there. That is beautiful. Beautiful scenery. Absolutely wonderful. See, look, this, look at the water. And I haven't even got a very good graphics card. Wow. So, people, you, you have to forgive me for when pulling over to take photos when you get scenery like that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so 50, we're doing 51. Yeah, there was uh, some, there's some wonderful mods that are out uh, at the moment, and uh, I've not been able to, not been able to test them. I was going to test a new map today, but ended up that seeing that the beta came out first thing this morning, uh, so I had to stop and, and do that one first. Um, but there is some um, pretty nice mods that are uh, that are out at the moment. The new map that I saw, uh, version five of the MM MMG, I think it is. And there's also the DAF truck that I really want to try. Uh, six by ten, I think it is. And it's got some. Looks like it's got some pretty big pulling power. So uh, that one might have to wait a little bit until I. Um, until the beta, until it gets fixed up for the the newer version, because now that I've installed the new version, I really want to, you know, explore and you know see uh, the new sort of things in here. But not that there's a great deal, but you know, I still want to play around with that. But um, I was hoping that the uh, that there was an update for um, TSM for this but unfortunately no there's no update at the moment but hey not saying that's a bad thing you know those guys work really hard there and congratulate you know kudos to those guys for doing all that work at TSM they really do work hard um, all I was saying is just that uh, you can't use TSM and a lot of add-ons at this point in time but you know all good give it time pay the toll pay the toll Yep, there we go. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> I had to push the button twice to pay the toll. You know, I, I um, as a if you've seen my videos from the past, you would have seen that I've, I've asked any people who have any uh, insight into the new the um, the new Google projects with the actual the goggles or any sort of IR device if you've got any to uh, you know to let me know what you think um, because I'd rather as I said I'd rather have actual people tell me what it's uh, what they think rather than um, you know some of the reviews because some reviews I believe that some reviews are fudged and um, I don't like you know general reviews from companies because you know, the, 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 I think that they can be fudged. They might have been paid or, or whatever. But, um, oh, we need to jump into that lane. Sorry, mate. But look, if anyone has got uh, any, you know, Oculus Rift or, or anything like that, the IR device, then please, by all means, you know, send me a, uh, send me your opinion, you know, comment below, whatever you like, you know, uh, even even on Facebook, if you wanted to just put uh, post something there, then you know that'd be great as well, because I really want to get some feedback on that. Yeah, look at this scenery here. What do we got now? That looks like looks like a farm or something. Who knows? 
we got a turn off up here. So here we go, we got signs. So this is the first sign telling us to turn. So it's getting more sort of realistic. And mate, what are you doing? Are you coming over here or not? No? That's good. <laughs> a lot of this area that's still sort of cordoned off for, I'd say, I don't know, maybe for future development, possibly. I hope so. Because I hope they really do get some more, you know, future stuff in there. What do we got over there? It's like farm. It's like farm area. Oh, I pulled into a depot before. And it looked like a bus stop to me. So I'm curious, again, I, I did hear about a rumour that there was, they were thinking, now I don't know, this is just a rumour I heard, they were thinking about putting buses in here. But that to me would mean that would be a separate thing, it'd be like bus simulator, Euro bus simulator or something. But um, I did see a it was looked to me it looked like a bus stop and you could easily get in there and access it and um, that was in gas that I saw that and um, yeah very interesting I mean if they do do it so you can start a bus company in this then that'd be great you know going from one stop to another picking up people that'd be interesting but yeah, this is that is just speculation. I have not heard any official information about that. It's just rumor on the grapevine. So don't hold it to me, folks. That I've you know, it's my word is gold on that. That's not true. It's just sheer speculation from what I've seen and what I've heard. All right, one toll. Come on, let's go. Stokes. I'm Stokes. I'm stoked. Be stoked if uh, this patch comes out pretty quick. From what I was reading, it's, they're saying it should only be another another couple of days. But uh, surely they won't get it out that quick from the beta. I think the beta would be like a couple of weeks and then they'd get it out. But you never know. Okay, toll. There we go, 17. Thank you. Always weary of those tolls. I've been caught one time where I got stuck in the toll. And I had to get a service guy to come out and pull me out. See, that's better how they've done the lanes there. You don't get the cars running into each other. What is that over there? That looks like... Oh, that's a nice feel. Oh, sugar! Sorry! <laughs> See what happens when you daydream and dawdle about something else? <laughs> Sorry! But the scenery in this is really nice. I like it. It's right up there. I, I, I don't know. You know, TSM scenery, the new scenery. I don't know. It's all it's all good. I mean, a lot of people would probably say, "Oh, the TSM scenery is a lot better," but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This scenery here is pretty good as well. So I don't know. Up to the individual, I think. I'm looking for another spot for a photo. I can't help it. I gotta take another another photo. What have we got over there? Some big silos or something? Let's jump out and have a look. My wonderful Canadian Scania. Now, when I was having a look at this, I was going to pick an American truck, but then I thought, well, you know what? There's so many Australians in... Canada, so may as well, that's probably as close as I'm going to get. Because there's nothing to do with Australia in there, which would be nice if there was, but, you know, can't ask for too much, can I? Get 
that sharpen that up a bit. There we go. Change that field of view. I don't know if any of you know that you can actually use the scroll button on your mouse to change the field of view so that you can see so change that just like that. What else have we got? Let's see. Take another shot this way. See, that looks good. I think that looks really, really good, that. Good shot of the truck carrying those pressure tanks. And back we go. I'll try not to hit anything. I think I'm doing getting, you know, better. <laughs> oh, there's a tractor over there. I think I'm getting better at driving these trucks. I mean, I know I've been driving for a while. I've got, well, on my other one, I've got to level 23, where if you've seen my um, other videos, you would have seen that I've been, you know, slowly get creeping up and creeping up. But... Um, and oh, if you've seen uh, other videos where I've been driving, uh, yeah, I'm not the best driver, but hey, I have fun. That's the main thing. I find it a lot harder on simulators to drive than what I do in real life. Real life, I'm a very cautious driver. But uh, for some reason in the games, I tend to have accidents. Let's see if we can get over. You going to let us over, bud? Thank you very much. Now, 50. We're meant to be doing 50. Love that new little dot down there that tells me what speed we're meant to be doing. So much easier. Oh, we. Ah! Oh, gonna jump back over anyway. <laughs> Ah, never mind. These things happen. So I've been having a look at some other games as well, like uh, spin tires again. Been doing heaps of spin tires. Um, next car game is another one where you know Junior was driving, and I've also got one of myself where I'm driving. Um, I'd have to say I think Junior is a better driver than me, uh, by all means. If you haven't seen that, then you know check those videos out on our channel. Um, but it's definitely crash and bash that game. Heaps of fun and action. Um, also got accepted by Blizzard for alpha testing at the moment. Their new Heroes of the Storm, which I've been doing a few videos on that, but. Um, been having a bit of trouble with multiplayer. Um, I think that's just an issue with my computer, but not sure as of yet. I'm sure that they'll fix that up if there is any issues. Uh, the problem that I've been having is that, uh, whoops, swaying on the road. The problem I've been having is that uh, I've been going to do multiplayer and it's just been taking forever to get anybody to um, to actually you know sign up to, to jump in the game so been mainly just doing the single player ones now that could be as well that um, it's either not selecting the players for me I mean it doesn't matter which part of the world they're in or it could be that uh, it could be many different things it could be just uh, there's not enough players online you know that they're all busy or not enough players on on that time but who knows? Um, I have put in a request for that to see if it is an issue or if it's just just my computer. I haven't heard anything back yet. So anyway, you know, check out the channel uh, again for to have a look at those videos. But really, this is Euro, Euro Truck, so we should be talking about trucks. And boy, have I seen some really nice trucks driving around during the week as I've been out and about during the week. Uh, and been driving out towards the areas where there are trucks 
Now, trying to get some, you know, photos of uh, truckers. Uh, of course, I ask their permission first, but uh, and I tell them about the Euro Truck as well. I have a chat to them about that. Uh, met a guy the other day who does play Euro Truck, so you know, if, if you're out there and you uh, you uh, remember me talking to you, then yeah, g'day mate, how's it going? There's a shout out for you. Yes. Well, we shouldn't be too far away. Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Okay, it looks like we're over, over halfway. Half, almost, almost there. Got another toll, another couple of tolls. Let's keep trucking on, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oops, we got to jump over here. See, I'm not reading the signs. I think that, <laughs> that's my problem at the moment. I'm too busy talking, too busy talking to everyone rather than uh, reading the signs. And uh, yeah, if, you know, it's uh, definitely to me this is pretty much as real as I'm going to get to driving a truck. But um, I find it to be uh, you're talking to people and then driving is a little bit harder on this than what it is in the, in real life because I can drive a car and talk to people no problem. Uh, I'd, I'd like to hear from some, from some real truck drivers. Uh, here from some more real truck drivers uh, who who actually play Euro Truck and who um, drive for real. That's now I'd like to hear their opinion on, on what they think. So uh, you know, another thing that I want to do in the future is when I start getting a few more comments from people on the the channel, I'd like to um, start reading out some of those comments that people have made. You know, good, bad, whatever questions that they may have. You know, that's something that I'd be, even if it's for me or for Junior, doesn't matter. You know, we'll uh, read them out and if they're for Junior, then Junior can answer them. And um, yeah, I think that'll be fun. So the more comments, the, uh, the, the, the better it is because more questions, comments, great, I'll answer them. What do we have here? No, looking for some nice scenery. To me, it feels like we're going slow, but we're actually speeding. <laughs> and jump in this lane. This is one thing that was a problem in the past was merging cars. Now they did slow down a little bit, merging better, so that's that's better. I know in the past that they've just been sitting on the side there, and you come round a corner like that, and just go smash straight into the back of them, and oh, big mess. Still waiting to come up to like an intersection on the freeway where the cars pull out off the off the actual off ramp and straight onto that road in front of you and oh many and many times I've I've actually cleaned people up because they've done that and uh, yeah it's it's just a big mess sometimes big mess it's a bit of a truck stop over there that's a big one that is Yeah, so guys, if you've got anything that you wish to talk about or any other games you want me to have a look at, feel free to put them in the comments. You know, just, uh, you know, give me some ideas. Uh, I've, I've seen there's a lot of games out at the moment, that, uh, and a lot of cheap ones, actually. But it's just which ones. I'm trying to go for as many simulators as I can, because I personally like the simulators. Uh, Junior tends to like the more adventure platform type games, which is fine. He can he can do those ones, and I'll do these ones, and we just share the channel together. 
Uh, Lego as well is one he loves loves doing. And uh, if you've seen any of those other Lego videos, and be sh uh, stay tuned because there's uh, plenty of Lego videos coming. He loves those Lego videos. So what have we got up here? Milano. Milano is just up the road. I thought it was going to be longer, but obviously not. Milano. Well, we don't need that turn off by the looks of it, so we better jump in that other lane. And a good thing is that the cars are not uh, not overly a problem at the moment on the roads. It's actually me that's the problem on the road. <laughs> so probably all the all the AI goes back and says uh, when they finish the day, oh geez, did you see that user? That user was crazy. <laughs> so just like they do in the movie Tron. <laughs> The uh, AI goes back to the uh, base when they rest and they talk about the end users. Okay, another toll. Seems to be a lot of tolls over in Europe. Glad we don't have that many tolls here in Australia. See, 33 pounds. Wow. Big toll. Thanks, mate, for letting me in. Alright, looks like we're turning up here. I'm gonna jump in this other lane. Are you gonna let me in? Thanks. Thanks, brother. Awesome. See, the AI is a lot more polite now. Better than what it was when it first came out. Wow. That was rough. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're turning off. Uh, around the big corner. Without a load, I found... I find these trucks tend to bounce around a lot without any load on. Around those corners there especially, I, I think it's just in the game that it does that. Here we go, this is the part that I hate. I slow right down there because the AI, I'm so scared the AI is going to jump out. Jump out and get in the front of the truck, make a real mess. So 43 miles per hour we're meant to be doing through here. Milano, 70 must be kilometers that. So that's, that it's, that's these signs really used to confuse me. Hello Milano. So but now with this actual speed, little speedo gauge thing, whatever it is, the little red and white dot down in the corner there, that's gonna make it a lot easier. A lot easier. All right, turning right here. There we go. No, we go further down. There we go. And looks like not that one. Just up here a bit more. Just after that. Just after this here. Maybe that building over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, move it! <laughs> Important load coming through. Pressure tanks. I hope I don't get pinged for going through that red light there. 
Right, so... Oh, okay, we had to turn there. Alright, so we just go around here. Looks like we're going to end up going through a real windy area. Wonderful. Awesome. No, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. No. Where are we going? Ah. Betcha there's going to be nowhere for me to do a U turn here either. Look at these tight turns! Holy moly! Making sure you're doing the speed limit. End up a wreck. Okay, I gotta turn here. Don't you dare go! Good traffic. Good AI traffic. Just thought you might want to see a little bit more of the town, folks. That's why I thought uh, we'd take this long way. <laughs> Not really. I actually just made a wrong turn. But shh, we won't tell anyone. There we go. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? And this time we'll try and get it right. The indicator can go off. Bam, bam. Okay. Come on, red light. Hey, thank you. I think the AI has been definitely improved. I mean, I haven't had a great deal of problem. I think the problem now is me. I'm the problem. <laughs> I think it's in here. Because I don't really want to go around that windy road anymore. Whoops! Stuck! FCP! And here we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's some other things uh, that I saw as well that have changed. The actual main screen, the title screens uh, changed uh, as it's loading, the loading screen, sorry. They've actually changed now, so if you're loading from one section to another, you'll actually see the your trip that you're on and, and you know, all the information. It'll give you all that information. So, and it looks a lot nicer. So they made it the oh rubbish rubbish backing up. Um, so they made the, the loading screens a lot nicer now. So yeah, that's that's one other thing that I saw as well. Also, the main area where your profiles are has also changed as well, um, which is good. You know, you've got news and stuff like that on there now, which is yeah, that's something really good. You can always keep up to date. You can also see the latest DLCs there. That's pretty good. I'm sure that'll help them. And there we go. One job done on my dodgy account. So as you can see, level 179,774. <laughs> but you know, I'm not not going to test. I'm not not going to do the um, beta testing for this patch yet. Not on my main account because it'll mess it right up. So once they release this new patch, 
uh, and then they get the add-ons fixed up for it, then I'll start I'll I'll start playing that there because I don't want to mess that up. Anyway, YouTubers, thank you very much for watching. Uh, look, if you enjoyed this video, then uh, by all means, um, click on the give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then by all means, go to the um, uh, go to the actual channel and have a look. There's some more Euro Truck videos. That's if you haven't seen them already. And um, yeah, there's also plenty of other videos as well. And also check out my review on the uh, the, D the latest DLCs that we've got. I mean, there's uh, the the US one and the uh, Canadian uh, pack there as well. And there's also some other DLC videos as well. So um, look, thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember. Game on. With fireworks going off in the background. And that is on both sides. And... Oh, look out! Timo! Oh, I see that!